Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I have to remember to say that. Um, it is New Year's Eve when I'm filming this video, so I hope you all had a really happy holidays, whatever you celebrate, and um, I wish you a happy new year. But I know I haven't filmed in a while, so between like November and now, um, I get extremely busy with like crafting and Christmas stuff and all of that. So yeah, I haven't really made time to film videos, but here I am. And it's actually because I have a lot of things to show you. I have, so today's video is gonna be a Sephora haul. And then I'm gonna have another haul, which will be drugstore and Odin's Eye and Colourpop and I also have to film my empties video because my bag is literally overflowing so yeah let's just get into it and I still have my Christmas tree up <laughs> so I don't know if you guys like on the 26th do you take down all of your Christmas stuff because I definitely don't I wait till like probably like the second week of January so anyway Let's just jump into it. I actually am going to start with uh, skincare type things, I guess, just because I separated them that way. And there is already something in my eye, as usual. Anyway, that is enough <laughs> rambling. So the first thing I got, um, I've actually already been using this. It's already open because I needed it desperately. It is the Skin Fix Eczema Hand Repair Cream. Um, it has 1% colloidal, colloidal oatmeal and this saved me. So um, in the winter, so I have eczema but in the winter it gets really bad um, because it's like drier outside and I'm like constantly washing my hands and everything. So I had really bad eczema here. You can't even see it anymore because after the first use, it literally like went away. I'm shocked. <laughs> so if you guys haven't tried this and you have eczema, um, yeah, definitely try this. Um, maybe get a sample if you can. Because I don't know if everyone can use colloidal oatmeal. I know for me, my skin loves that because I used to use the Nivea cream that had colloidal oatmeal and that was really good too. So like obviously this is more expensive than the Nivea stuff but it really worked and I'm really happy about it. And it actually like moisturized and like plumped my hands anyway so even when I don't have eczema this seems to be a really good hand cream. I did not need a new hand cream but I needed something because it was getting really bad and itchy and like I was scratching it so much that it was just really gross. <laughs> so yeah, very happy about this Skin Fix product. Then I have this. This is going back to I think my birthday because if you guys didn't know my birthday is in November and it's always around the VIB sale and I get gift cards for my birthday so <laughs> I bought a few things. This is from Fenty Skin. It's the Cherry Dub retexturing face and mini body scrub duo so i got this because i had i think i had both these products on my loves list and when i saw there was a set of minis i was like oh that's perfect because i don't need more skincare <laughs> but um yeah so this is the triple action aha body scrub mini so this, this one is the face scrub. I think this is a full size. Does it say anything? This seems to be the full size. The Cherry Dub Super Fine Daily Cleansing Face Scrub. So I'm very excited to try these. I have heard a lot of good things. Oh, it's, um, there's a seal, so I'm not gonna open it. But I've heard a lot of good things about Fenty Skin products. So I'm excited about this. I saw that this set is on sale and actually right now when I'm filming, I don't know, it might end today, um, they're having 20% off 
on top of the sale so yeah if you wanted to try this this doesn't have good reviews i've noticed but i don't know if it's the set that had bad reviews because it was kind of pricey full price but now i have these two products that i wanted to try anyway so that's good and this does have like a cherry scent if you were wondering I, I'm not really going to go into a lot of detail about each thing because we'll be here forever. <laughs> um, okay, next, I actually got these two items today because of that sale I was telling you about. And I got more gift cards for Christmas. And I saw that this was in the sales section. This is the Youth to the People Superberry Dream Mask Overnight Mask. So you get a full size and a travel size and this is cheaper than buying just the full size of the Superberry um, Hydrating Glow Dream Mask. So I was like, well, I'm definitely going to get that. So this was regular $70 when it wasn't on sale, but then it was on sale and an extra 20% off. So I've had this product on my loves list forever. I've heard really good things about it, so I thought I should just get it. And any like thing that says night mask, I'm just like, okay, it's a face cream. So that's how I'm gonna use it. Um, this is the little travel size. It's actually a glass bottle, so that's nice. I will put this in my travel bag. And then the full size looks like this also in a glass jar. So yeah, I'm excited about this. I think I've liked everything I've tried so far from this brand and I definitely need something very moisturizing, especially in the winter. Um, the cream I'm using now seems to be working pretty good, but the one I was using before was definitely not hydrating enough. And my skin is so dry that if I don't have like a super good moisturizer, it literally starts peeling. Like today it's not as bad because like I said, my the new moisturizer I'm using is working good. But you could literally see like my skin was peeling <laughs> on my forehead. So yeah, um, this will go like in my queue because I, I'm pretty sure I have other creams to use first. Other night creams that is. So yeah, but I'm happy I got this on sale because Youth to the People is quite pricey. Then the last thing in like this skincare-ish category, um, I was excited to see that we already got the Rare Beauty, the new body care stuff at my Sephora. I find lately, like, I don't know if it's just Sephora Canada, but we're not getting like anything new until like, I don't know, months later. Like it's, it's on the app, you can buy it online, but it's never in store. I don't know what that is, but I did get the Find Comfort Body and Hair Fragrance Mist. So this is a super fine fragrance mist infused with biotin, niacinamide, and peach flower extract to revitalize your hair and body throughout the day with a fresh addictive scent. So I smelled this in store and I was like, oh, that is not what I thought it would be, but I love it. And I love this packaging. It's beautiful. And it has one of those, like, um, in here, those balls in it. I don't know why. Maybe because uh, maybe there's, like, oil or something that you have to shake up. But I'm pretty sure there's no, like, shimmer, I guess. But, yeah, I did try it in store. And I wanted it. I want to try it again because I think I can't smell it anymore. Oh yes. Oh my god. So this is like very citrus but also like woodsy. I have no idea what the notes are. I'm terrible at that sort of thing and usually I'm off anyway so but that's what it smells like to me and those are like my favorite scents especially in like a body spray because I, when I wear body spray it's to like refresh you know so I'm very excited to use this I don't know how I'm going to feel 
seal it up putting it in my hair but definitely I'll just spray it like all over you know so yeah I did get that um, let's move on to the makeup because there's kind of a lot the first thing here I see is just like a little sample so we'll get that out of the way I think this was a point perk so like I added it to my cart it's the airbrush flawless foundation from Charlotte Tilbury because I think I want to do like a full face of Charlotte Tilbury video maybe I don't know I think I have enough now I don't think I've heard the best reviews for this I think it's like a very full coverage from what I heard which is not what I normally go for like I'm, I'm not even wearing foundation today because <laughs> I didn't feel like it um yeah but I I don't know I'll try it it's did I say what shade did I get I got the shade four neutral yeah so that should be a good shade for me this is actually a pretty good sample it even has like a pump and everything so that'll be fun to try I did get another complexion product this one I got because it was on sale <laughs> and another brand i want to consider doing a full face video of is cali ray because i've been really liking their stuff so this is the free dreaming skin wellness diffusing tint it's labeled as a clean foundation and i got the shade three which is light with neutral undertone i always get any light neutral shade that I see and that looks like this it is like a small little thing and it's extremely liquidy like I think you can hear that right so I don't know it says shake it like you mean it so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like a serum type skin tint that probably has like no coverage <laughs> but We'll see about it. I just had to, I was just very curious about it and I want to try more from the brand. So yeah, I did get this. And for Christmas, this was on, so every like year, <laughs> my mom asked me what I want for Christmas and I just sent her my Sephora loves list. So she picked this from my list. It's the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. Yes, Serum Concealer in the shade 5.0 EP, whatever that means. So this I put on my loves list because I heard a lot of good things about it. This is very hard to open. Let me get my envelope <laughs> opener. Okay. Ooh. Is this glass? No, it's just very hard, like acrylic. So that is the packaging, and the shade looks pretty good. I think this is the one that everybody was talking about when it came out, at least. It has one of these, like, flat doe foot applicators. Yeah, I'm still on a concealer journey, <laughs> if you will say. Um, I don't love most concealers. Um, actually today, I didn't even, did I? Oh no, I put my Rare Beauty, uh, oh dear, this thing, corrector. This is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. So it's not even really concealer, it's like a color corrector, I guess, but I use it as concealer because I find concealer makes me look worse. <laughs> So it usually, I don't know, it looks dry or like crepey under my eyes and it's not, I actually, so I said before like how dry my skin is, but actually around my eyes I don't have dry skin normally, so I don't think it's that. So I'm still trying to find my favorite concealer. So far I really like this. I like the NYX one, which is also a serum concealer, so I have high hopes for this. Because I think serum concealers are what I like best. So yeah, gonna try out this one. 
probably in like a new, I should do a new makeup try on video because I have a lot of new things. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got that. But now that we're on, yeah, so another thing I got from my mom for Christmas, which was on my loves list, was the, what is this brand called again? In Beauty? Like I-N-N, -N. oh yeah, In Beauty Project. So this is new to Sephora in Canada. And previously, I only knew about this brand because of BoxyCharm. Um, I did get, I got something. Oh, a setting spray, which I really like. Um, so I was happy to see a new brand at Sephora and one that I've heard good things about. So this is the Glaze for Days set, lip oil set. So it's four like full size products. It was a 62, well, 48 USD, but it's a $68 value or 62 Canadian. It's an $88 value, which, yeah, I can see why because it is like full, like these are huge things. I've already used one of them. I think the vanilla mint one, and I really liked it. Um, I'll show you what one of them. Oh, let me just tell you. So you get candy apple, then Vanilla Mint, which is a clear with sparkle. And then there's one that says new. So I guess it was like exclusive to the set in Cinnamon Bun. And then one in Merlot. And I love lip oils. So yeah, I was very excited that she picked this. So here, I'm pretty sure this is full size. These are like huge. This is... Does it say, there's cat hair, how many, 0.2 ounces or 6 ml? I don't know, but they're big. Um, it says, the ultimate collection of our iconic glaze lip oils. Glossy, juicy, and oh so delicious. These naturally flavored lip oils are super comfortable on the lips and super glossy. Yes, it was very glossy when I tried it. A beautiful variety of shades with a new glaze debut cinnamon bun. A gorgeous mauve pink that tastes just like a warm cinnamon bun. Okay, well I haven't tasted them. <laughs> but yeah, I did try this one, like I said, vanilla mint. And look at this, like, it's one of these, like, cream blush applicators almost. <laughs> oh, and it smells amazing. So yeah, I'm very excited that I have these. And actually I need to smell this cinnamon bun one because that is very intriguing to me. Oh, oh my God, that does smell like a cinnamon bun. Like not in a like fake way either, like an actual cinnamon bun. <laughs> okay, that's exciting. So I think the, yeah, these are all like they're glazed or glaze ones, but the vanilla mint one has sparkle, but the rest seem to be like matte. Not matte because they're glossy lip oils, but you know what I mean? There's no shimmer in them. I think, yeah, everything else here I bought with gift cards. So it's from my birthday or from, no, just my birthday. <laughs> And one thing, actually, I also got this today because we even got the new Too Faced, which we never get new Too Faced in Canada. I don't know what's going on lately, but this is the Kissing Jelly Gloss, another lip oil. I know, I have now five lip oils just on this table, <laughs> but that's okay because I love lip oil. And I can wear lip oil like anytime, like I don't need to be wearing a full face of makeup so and this one I got in pina colada so basically anything that's like coconutty I will buy <laughs> um yeah it says share sweet kisses and treat your lips to your favorite juicy scents with our ultra nourishing lip oil slash gloss hybrid that instantly softens your pout for totally irresistible lips and oh this one okay i thought it would be it didn't look like that in the tester but it's very gold if you can see 
and it's another like clear lip oil this um, applicator is not as big <laughs> as the other one. Oh, but I love the smell of pina colada um, yeah so I had to add this and it's very cute typical like cute pink toothpaste packaging type thing I haven't heard anybody talk about this but I'm very excited that I have it and they all have different scents but like I said anytime you know vacation type smells that's what I gravitate towards so that's why I got this one and what else okay this is another product I got because it was on sale and I think was it boxing day there was some kind of additional percent off I don't remember this is the Bare Minerals Glow Giver Blush and Bronzer Duo. I'm pretty sure this is still available today as I'm, well, at least when I'm filming it in the sales section. And this I bought because the, so this is what you get inside. I actually don't even remember what it is. <laughs> I know one of them. Okay, so you get the Gen Nude Powder Blush in Call My Blush which is, looks to be like a pretty basic mauve pink. It looks like that. But I've heard really good things about this, but I'll show you. This is not really why I bought the set. Hmm. It looks like somebody touched it, so that's not great. <laughs> if you guys seen, when was it? I was complaining about products I've been getting from Sephora that look like they've been touched so anyway I'm not going to go into it again but this is what what I wanted this set for the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer so this is like a blush bronzer kind of hybrid thing and the shade in here was is Kiss of Pink I think at one point I really wanted Kiss of Copper but now I think I'm more into like the pink blushes maybe um but it looks like this so this shade I mean I don't really know what's bronzer about it because it's pink like you can see but I've heard great things about this Ooh, it feels very soft oh yeah that's very light pink you can't even really see it in this lighting but I am excited about this Usually when I get blushes this shade, I'm like, oh, that's going to be nothing. But they always end up looking nice on the skin. So, yeah, I'm excited about this. I guess these are full sizes, are they? Yeah. Um, these are both full size products and I feel like it was a really good price. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I basically got like two sales on it. So... Yes, I have two more blushes, but at least they're powder blushes. <laughs> I should not be buying any more cream blushes. Just looking at my table. No, I didn't buy any cream blushes, so that's good. Um, another thing I bought for a video in mind. I've been talking about this video forever and I keep not doing it. So I don't even know if anybody cares anymore, but I did get the Give the Gwen Stefani brand um, mascara uh, because I heard people raving about this. This is the Can't Stop Staring Lengthening and Lifting Mascara and I love lengthening and lifting mascaras as opposed to volumizing. I really prefer these. Oh, and this is like a nice like weighted packaging with her like you know um checker kind of thing so yeah i'm not gonna open this because i'm not ready to open it yet but yeah i've heard great things about it and i'm excited to use this so i wanted to do like a trying finally try and give beauty what is my hair doing <laughs> a video but now just, I don't know. I haven't seen anybody talk about that brand and actually a lot of their products are on sale. So I hope it doesn't mean they're 
getting out of Sephora because some of the things I have from them I actually found at Winners, which is um, TJ Maxx in Canada, if you didn't know. So I don't know if that's a good sign. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Um, another thing I got that I thought people were going to be very excited for, but I haven't not seen a single person talk about it. It's the House Labs by Lady Gaga Eye Library Eyeshadow Palette. So, I don't know. I haven't heard anybody talk about these or mention them. But I did get this version, which... Do these have names? Oh, Volume 1, The Super Neutrals. Because I felt like it was one that... I don't know. I guess I would wear more than the other one. Neither of them are super like colorful, but yeah, this is her first like eyeshadow launch. So that's the packaging. It's very reflective. And this is also in the sale section. Okay, now I remember. I don't think I've even opened this since I bought it because I was just too busy with other things. Like I just been piling up these products on actually like under my tree as like a gift to myself <laughs> kind of thing. But this is what it looks like and it's very pretty and I love how these shimmer shades look. I do think, I'm pretty sure I swatched this in store and that's why I was like, okay, I'll get it. Because these feel, oh yes, 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 these feel like those shimmers that I love are those like metallic shades like I have on today. This is the, I feel like I mention this palette in every video, but it's because it's in my, um, Pen Those Eyeshadows project and we all know that project is not you know, getting any rotation, but it's the Lunar Beauty palette, the Nude Prism. And it has those very like wet type shimmers. These don't feel as smooth as those. They feel like there's more glitter particles in them. Yeah, even when I swatch it, um, if you can see, but this shade in particular looks really beautiful. So I'm excited to try that. Um, I don't know when I will. Yeah, I'll really have to do like a new makeup try on or if anyone watching, if you're still here, <laughs> um, let me know what you'd like to see or if you, you know, have any questions specifically about the any specific product. This is also actually in the sale section. So I feel like that means it probably didn't sell that well or as well as they thought it would because it went on sale pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, so it just says, this is powered with hyaluronic acid and plant squalane. So yeah, another House Labs product in my collection. I think I have enough to do a full face of House Labs too. Or did I do that already? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, okay, now I have this from Charlotte Tilbury, the Blush and Glow Glide Palette. This, I did not need this, but I don't know, it looks so pretty. <laughs> so I got the Fair Medium shade. I think there's only two, Fair Medium and Medium Dark, I guess. Um, and it's very small. So it looks like this, but it looks so pretty. Um, and I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury powder highlighters that I've tried. Um, they just have really nice like tones. Like they're always more like on the pink side, of course. Is this called, I guess it's just called Fair Medium. Like it's not Pillow Talk or anything like that, I guess. Hollywood Blush and Glow Glide Palette. So I don't know. But I loved the shade of the blush and the highlighter, so I had to get it. Uh, but again, I am not very impressed with the packaging of this. It feels kind of light for Charlotte Tilbury. And I say this like all the time. I feel like her packaging is not, I don't know, 
for the price that you pay for these, I'm just expecting more, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But the products seem to be pretty good from what I've tried so far. Um, now I have two very exciting things. So I'll go with the older one first. Um, the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. I bought this pretty much when it released and then it's just been lying in my box. <laughs> and I honestly kind of forgot about it. But this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. And it's one of her, like, you know, these acrylic type packaging ones, which are us usually pretty good. But look at this. This is very cool tone, purple plum kind of. Usually not what I go for, honestly, but I feel like I cannot resist trying her palettes because there's always something like more about them so there's always like a new kind of texture or you know a new formula to try and just looking at this oh my god this shade looks so crazy i don't even want to touch it or should i and this one and this one i don't know let's see it does have those like dusty pinks that i like so that's good. And there's some neutrals, of course, so it's not like I have to do a smoky eye if I reach for this palette, but I definitely just want to feel this. Oh my god. Okay, I thought that was going to be very dry and crumbly, but it's actually very wet. That's the shade Rebel, this one. I don't have a lot of palettes in my collection with this color story either, which is why I was like, okay, I'll get it. Okay, that looks like, like liquid metal. <laughs> okay, that's promising. Uh, I do have other palettes from Huda that I haven't tried yet, and I sort of have a rule, but I keep breaking it. <laughs> but a rule I gave to myself was that I couldn't buy any new palettes from a brand that I already own that I haven't tried yet but it seems like I keep breaking that rule so I don't know maybe in the new year I'll follow that more strictly but anyway I think this is the last thing I have to show you today yes from Sephora <laughs> I did get the Pat McGrath Labs the holiday release this year which was an eyeshadow and a face palette which was nice that they did something different another thing i haven't really heard anybody talk about but it's very pretty i like the packaging it looks like it should have been part of her bridgerton collection though <laughs> um i think this was her holiday release right or am i confused no it must be because it has that those ribbon openings so I'm pretty sure this was her holiday release and was there two versions of this I think but I did get the one with the green in it because it looked more you know different from her other palettes but I do like her blush so you do get two of these what, what are these called again um it doesn't say. Anyway, I own two of them already, the duos, but these are just like two different shades. So you get Nymphette and Coral Cosmos. Those are the blushes. And then these eyeshadows, which I feel are quite pretty. I mean, still, these like this, this row and this row are typical for Pat McGrath, I feel, but the shimmers look really pretty, and the green looks fun. So yes, I, you know, probably have these shades already in her other holiday palettes, which I haven't used yet. <laughs> but I had to have this, and I bought it with a gift card, so I don't feel as guilty. <laughs> anyway, but I'm very excited to try this too. Have you guys tried this? Um, I don't know. 
I haven't heard anything about it really. So I don't know if that's a good sign or not, but yeah. I had to get it. And that is everything for my Sephora haul. So like I said before, if there's anything you want me to talk about more than something else or any videos you would like to see, I can definitely do that. Yeah, I'm just looking around because there's so much stuff here. <laughs> so yes, I have, like I said, another haul video coming up and yeah, that's all I have to say really. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to find space for all this now and put it in my Tiny Decisions app because another video I have to film is I shot my stash. I still have the same products from the last one I did, which was in the fall. I don't even know anymore. But yeah, anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!